Most of our customers will have one gig service and that one gig service will come through this box, which is the 803G. From here, you will see you have a couple of ports on the back. You have your fiber optic in, power, phone, and ethernet. One way you can look to troubleshoot your ONT is you should see green lights on the, the side of this device. The main ones that you are gonna be looking for are power, broadband, service, ethernet. Now, if you do have a phone, that will also be lit up. All of these lights should be green. If you notice any of these lights being a different color, either red or orange, it's a good time to probably call into our support department. Now, you may notice the ethernet light and the phone light flashing or flickering. That is a good sign. It is indicating that it is communicating with the corresponding devices that it's plugged into. As you can see here, we have our 803G, which is our ONT, and our Gigaspire router. They are currently connected via an ethernet cable on the back. The internet comes in from this box and it is transmitted over an ethernet cable and received in your router. From here, as you can see on the back, we have it plugged in to our WAN port, or WAN, or Wide Area Network. From here, you have four available LAN ports, and you could plug in a wide variety of devices, whether it be a personal computer, a network switch, cameras, or the like. As you can also see, there are two phone ports. These phone ports are not used in our systems. If you wish to use a phone, please plug your phone into the phone port on the ONT. As you can see here, we have our WPS key, and that is our Wi-Fi protected setup. With this button, it allows you to connect to devices, let's say like a printer, without having to input any sort of network name or password. 